So hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Guys, today in this video, we will be discussing on one of the factor which severely affects the distillation process. And guys, the factor which we are going to discuss here is flooding. So guys, it is very important to prevent flooding in distillation column. And guys, particularly in this video, we will be looking at the preventive measures to prevent flooding in distillation column. And guys, before we start with the preventive measures, let's first talk on what is flooding in distillation column. Guys, in a distillation column, flooding refers to a condition where the column is overwhelmed with liquid and it causes the liquid and gas phase to mix excessively. Okay? And this disrupts the separation process and reduce the efficiency of distillation. In other words, flooding negatively impacts the separation efficiency of the distillation process and leading to the reduced product purity and increased energy consumption. Okay? It also causes mechanical damage to the column if not addressed properly. And guys, monitoring the liquid and vapor flow rates, maintaining proper column operating conditions and ensuring the design integrity of column internals are essential measures to prevent the flooding in distillation column guys in simple words flooding is a type of phenomena which severely affects the distillation separation process in terms of increasing the energy consumption and reducing the purity guys in distillation column we all know that the liquid and vapor contact is the most and important crucial part but what happens in flooding is the liquid is overwhelmed in the column so that will have an imbalance in vapor and liquid contact. Okay guys, so this was in simple about the problem which happens in distillation column due to flooding. Now guys, up next in this video we are looking at the preventive measures to prevent flooding in distillation column. Guys, preventing flooding in a distillation column requires careful consideration of various factors and implementation of appropriate measures. Here are some of the ways to prevent flooding in distillation column. The first way is having a proper design. It is to ensure that distillation column is designed with adequate tray or packing spacing. Then it is also necessary to have a proper trays or packing efficiency, then downcomer capacity and even proper column diameter to handle the expected liquid and vapor flow rates. It is most necessary to have a proper column sizing and design which helps to prevent flooding under normal conditions or normal operating conditions. Okay guys, now the second way or the second measure to prevent the flooding and distillation column is operating within design limits. Guys, it is very necessary to operate the distillation column within the specific design limits including vapor and liquid flow rates, reflux ratios, and temperature and pressure conditions. We should even avoid operating the column beyond its capacity as this can increase the risk of flooding. Okay? Now the third preventive measure is to have monitoring and control. Guys, we should implement robust process for monitoring and control to continuously monitor key parameters, key operating parameters such as liquid and vapor flow rates, temperature, pressures, and even levels within the column. Guys, we should use feedback control loops to maintain the optimal operating condition and prevent deviation that could lead to flooding. Okay? Then guys, the fourth parameter or the fourth way to prevent flooding in distillation column is to have optimizing reflux ratio. Guys, adjusting the reflux ratio to maintain the desired separation efficiency while avoiding excessive liquid buildup in the column. Guys, it is necessary to have an optimum reflux ratio or a balanced reflux ratio which helps to maintain the proper equilibrium between the vapor and liquid phase and that is to prevent flooding in distillation column. Okay? Now the fifth preventive measure is maintaining proper tray or packing conditions. Guys, it is our sole duty to regularly inspect and maintain the internal components of the distillation column such as trays or packing and that is to ensure that they are free from fouling, damage or other issues that can impair proper vapor liquid distribution. 
Guys, we should clean or replace damaged trays or packing as needed to maintain the optimal performance of distillation column, which is necessary to prevent the flooding in distillation column. Okay, guys. Now the sixth parameter which we need to take care of to prevent flooding in distillation column is anti-foam control. Guys, it is very necessary to implement effective anti-foam control measures to prevent foaming within the column, which can contribute to flooding. Okay. Use of anti-foam agents as needed to suppress the foam formation and maintain proper liquid vapor distribution. This would prevent us from flooding in distillation column. Now guys, the seventh parameter is to avoid process upsets. Guys, minimizing the process upsets and disturbances that can lead to sudden changes in liquid or vapor flow rates, temperature or pressure within the column. Implementing safeguard and backup system to mitigate the impact of process upsets that leads to prevention of flooding in distillation column. And guys, the last parameter which can prevent flooding in distillation column is to have a proper training and operator awareness. Guys, it is our duty to provide comprehensive training to the operators on to perform the operating and maintenance of distillation column. We need to ensure that the operators are aware about the factors that can contribute to flooding and empower them to take care of corrective actions promptly in case of flooding occurs. Okay, guys, by implementing these preventive measures and maintaining monitoring and control of the distillation process, it is possible to minimize the risk of flooding and ensure the efficient and safe operation of distillation column. Okay, so guys, these are some of the ways which we need to take care of or which we can utilize to prevent the flooding in distillation column. So guys, that's all for this video where we discuss that which are the ways to prevent flooding and distillation column. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. And guys, for more video related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety, you can subscribe to this channel. And guys, as always, feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. Guys, thanks for watching and see you in next video.